Bow. Hold up, man. We back at it again, man. Hustle Town Network, Hustle Town Certified, Behind the Hustle, whatever you want to call it. We in this thing. And Nick from the Sticks is in ace time right now. Nick, how you feeling, baby? Yes, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Glad great. to be back. Glad to be out here in this beautiful day. City yes, looking great. You know, I'm happy. I'm yes. happy to be here. Out here on the grind, too, because the music don't stop with you. Never stops. Never Man. stops. Life be lifing, but I stay grind. Stay Man. on the grind. That's it. So tell me about this new virtual performance that we just recently did. Uh, the song's off the chain, man. Uh, tell me about the song. Uh, tell me a little bit about the song we, we just did. Yeah, uh, this uh, virtual performance we just did is for the song titled The Intro. It is uh, the intro to my new EP dropping mm -hmm. in April, so next month. Check it out. This is going to be the first track off of it. Uh, the EP itself is entitled Sowing Seeds. Man. Because basically last year, that's what I do, uh, spent doing. That's how I contacted with you. Got in right. with Town Network. Been moving in uh, Central Texas with my boy Dustin, Dubs Deuce. We've been on the move. Shout out to my boy Winter. He's from Houston. So been just connecting, sowing seeds, planting, you know, trying to get ready for the harvest. That's it. There that's it how right it there. is. There it is, man. And you're always in H-Town, too. I see a lot in, in Houston. That is. Yes, always sir. working. Um, always. If we go back, what was, the, what was some of the some of the first music that you really that that you heard that really made you want to do hip hop in general? What you fall in love with with, with the hip hop? The first, that hip hop that really made me one that really was interesting for me was Charlie Boy, Ooh. Bumper Grills. I remember when yep. my my whole boy T. Lou Tristan Lewis played that for me. It was yep. in grade school, probably on his MP3 player, and it was something about how it just hit. He had the country flow with the H time and just slow, and I'm like, oh, he's singing and rapping. That's when. I fell in love with that mix right there. Yeah, I like that mix of the singing, the rapping, it just something a little different in that a little country, country Texas. That's just, that's his hit. That's Charlie Boy got some special skill right there, man. Oh I ain't gonna lie, Charlie Boy really put me in the mood. That Bumper Grill. Bumper Grill was that. Boy, them boy, the man. Right hold on, man. few weeks in them sheds, hey. Cadillac 20. Yeah, that's my jam. That's he the, just won a Grammy, too. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Charlie him. Boy, just man. did that with him and Victoria Monet. That's, that's a right. jam. They did that for the same. I said, yeah. Boy, on my mama. <laughs> and just to show, it just goes to show too, man. Like he he put that song out as a banger. Uh, uh, what, the, what, 15 years later, somebody else resembles it and gets a Grammy off Thank that. you. Good music man. lives forever. That's what I'm trying to get. Music never dies. And, and that's, that's what you do. You kind of, I, I noticed a lot of your music, you put a lot more thought and creativity in some of your music. You don't just really just kind of, you know, like here at Ace Time, we'd be dropping freestyle kind of stuff. Your stuff's a lot more, you put more work into it. Yeah. And, and I like that. Uh, especially on the lyricism side too. Yeah, I appreciate you know that. Thank you very much. I take that the craft very seriously because music means a lot to me, and it's right. something that's handed down and it's a culture. It's our culture, so yeah. we 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 it's in our hands now. So we, yeah. we take care of it, you know. So I gotta ask. Okay, so uh, this is one of my favorite questions. Shout out my boy Sin too because he, he usually asks this question, but I'm gonna have to take this one right here. <laughs> All, right, All right. All right. So if we're putting together a dream. Uh, EP project with you, with with anybody you want to have on this project, mm. right? Anybody you want on there, uh, uh, no no budget, just just all the way up, just whatever budget it is, we're gonna Hustle Town's taking care of it right now. Who would you have on this EP project with you? Of course, you know, you gotta have Charlie Boy, yeah, right? Charlie but who would be, who'd be some of the other people you feel like, man, I would um, really do some really great collabs with this person, or even some producers too. Who would who would be oh, working on, on on this project oh. with you? Name, drop some names on. There. Okay, no budget, no budget. Of course, no, no, no. Like, yeah, no, no limit to the budget. No limit to the budget. Yeah, we're just going crazy. Anybody, it could be anybody. Of course, the new Metro, Metro oh. Classic, and I know y'all been jamming that. That's just something we would just had a debate on That's the right. whole little diss and the him and Kendrick going back. So yeah, of course have that. Um, so going off of that, I'll also have to get Kendrick on there. I get a lot of Kendrick comparisons, so yeah. that's his own. But I would also have on the album, same album, Drake, right behind him. Yeah. So they could just do, air it out right here. I'd put track. him on the same Shit. damn song, to be honest. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to email it to you at the same damn time, whichever yeah. one. And you we, do just, it yeah, quick we just, yeah, we just, uh, I'm dropping it. Same day. Hi. Back and forth. Um, of course, some of my local people I've been uh, messing with, I have my boy Dubs on there, went on there. Um, What's good? Who else? Um, it's so many. That's a great question. Um, I think I, to be honest, I, I would have to. I would have to drop J Cole on there. Oh, put J. Cole. Gotta have J Cole on a song. Of course, because he that, you and J Cole. Three. You think that'd be a, be a hit? Yes, I, I, to do that. I, I, I do. I agree. had to do that. But I definitely want to do something with a lot of Texas people. Like, yeah. I want to get around, moving with the Texas underground, working my way up to because uh, we got like Tron out there in Central Texas. Of course, OT doing his thing, Big Mood, Big X doing his thing. Like, I'd have yeah. a lot. I actually want to do that. That's one of the dreams, a big Texas collab album. Where I'm just could you imagine you Big X over. and OT on a oh, track? Oh, ridiculous! Oh I'm man, some, some, take my money right there, man. Some, I ain't gonna lie. Some, some. Look, we manifesting. It's on the way. Y'all go watch. There you go right. <laughs> 
right there, man. In Central Texas, let them know exactly where where it all started from, because I know you were you were featured on the Waco virtual performance yeah, that we did with the Straight Out Texas when, Six. Yeah. And you also placed on there too. You were, yeah, you were that was it. Like, that was that, that. Yeah, I was a runner up on that. Yeah, and that's where this all began. With so, the, yeah. So tell them exactly where you're from. Uh, exactly on the show. map, Central Texas, but my city or my little town is called Tig, Texas. Mm. Barely a little dot on the map, right between Mahan and Fairfield, like. Little, that's a great. Everybody asks me that. Where, where is the sticks? Yeah, exactly yeah. where is the sticks? Nick from the but sticks. it's out there. <laughs> there it is right there yeah. too. And you know what's crazy is a lot of our, our towns, even the small cities, small towns that we have around Houston and Dallas and all that, are making some big noise. Like we got yeah. Bay City, OT. You know, yes. you got some of the hottest ones that are coming from small towns right now, man. So yeah. do not sleep. You got to, on yep. these artists you if can't. they're not if they're not from. Houston or Dallas, because those are the ones, the other ones that are not from there, are the ones that are damn near going the hardest right now. Yeah, okay. you have to. I think it makes you, because you have to, opportunity doesn't lie right there. So you know you yeah. can't be lazy. If yeah. you want to go, if you want it, you got to go get it. So you're going to go push it. And doing that, it just teach you from a young age, you know, I got to go, it's in the city. The country made me and raised me, but I can go get it in the city. Man, that's well, how we do. What's the, uh, so what's the, the current project right now? I know we're talking about April. Do we have for mm -hmm. sure a uh, release yeah. date? Yeah, uh, it's probably, it's most likely going to be a waterfall release. So all of April, I'll be dropping each track. Ooh. So yeah, I'll be starting on, I think the third, whichever that first Friday is in April. So yeah, yeah. I'll be starting to ch ch drop it. But yeah, it's a little, some of the old release tracks off in the pine, which one that's I placed with, that'll be on there. Throw some the old ones and some, some new shit for y'all. But yeah, I'll be dropping that. And then I'll also be starting this new little series of one, out back in the sticks called the country club mm. bringing everybody through bringing everybody i done met on the road just to come out make music collab record the process and drop something for y'all mm. call that the country club and while my homeboy he's still on monitor right now so we're gonna be doing something out of his garage because we got to turn up yeah like you said music don't stop yeah music don't and stop. when you hit the studio what's the process on some of this stuff because i see how you you kind of got a, a strategy on how you move when you release everything when you hit that studio what what is the um What's the studio vibes like? What you gonna have in that studio? What's in your studio survival kit? Studio All right, survival when you go in that studio, kit. what you gonna have with you that's gonna get you in that mood that to where you gonna feel like you are gonna put out the best from Nick from the sticks? Okay, best for me, I set the vibe right. Gotta have some drink. Pull me up some with some exotic pop. Yeah. Sip on some, you know. I like I'm a, I like I'm the Modelo. I like the Modelo right you know, there too. Yeah, and I love some beer. I'm drinking beer, but I'm gonna sip, drink good, little smoke, you know. I like to let a little smoke. For me, also in there, I don't know why, but I like having the TV playing but muted. Nothing on it, just like exactly. going. I'm the same have way. Have it dim in there. I think better in the dark. Dark vibes in there, and just let the let the let the rest happen. That's that's in the survival kit. Yep. Something to munch on, and I got to sip because. I, 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 I got that. some of the same yeah. ingredients too, especially when I'm editing videos and, and, and working on a computer. Got to have a TV on, kind of low. I'm an instrumental guy, I, and mm -hmm. luckily I don't rap anymore because I would really throw me off course but i love to have instrumentals playing when i'm when i'm working when i'm vibing yeah that's kind of my thing right mm -hmm. there too one puts, of my, yeah that, that focus i one, love that one of my favorite instrumentals being the, the notorious big sky's the limit mm, i can play okay. that on there right there and it motivates me it just gets me creative uh what's some of the songs too that you feel like motivate you also i mean we, we're talking about the charlie boy and all that uh -huh. but when you're creating what's some of your uh, uh the creative music what kind of music do you, do you like to vibe to or maybe some of your instrumental types like if artists mm. want i'm sorry producers want to send you beats and stuff what's some of the 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 the, the, the uh, styles or the some styles of the, that the I sounds? To. because like the, the recent virtual performance we did i like the style you kind of put you put like a lot more like i said it's a creative vibe um but what's your what's your specific style you think you like to uh, um to get I on know, these productions? I like a lot. I think that's one thing. I'm versatile, but I know one thing, especially with the producers, I love the guitar samples. Man. So I'm with the guitar. That just from the first little riffs, my mind just instantly just so it just creates a story. Um little switch up, I like it a little more vibey, little cause I, I can eat it too. I ain't right. tripping on that. I I will run a whole beat and track. I, Go pen for pen with anybody. I'm not tripping on that. So you feel like I do like making like pretty much anything, any, any type of beat. You can kind of if you get as long I'm as you make get the vibe me on it. that. But yeah, as long as I can come up with it, I I I'll make something of it. It's just it's always gonna inspire something. It's gonna invoke some kind of thing. Because sometimes mm -hmm. in the studio you get in the, or I I would get in the process of skipping too many. Right. And it's like nah, like spit some. And sometimes the hottest ones are the ones I didn't even think that was yeah. gonna take off. But yeah. Sometimes you just it's that repetition, just being in there, being creative and. Staying in that mind. 
And that's true. A lot of artists too. Some of the biggest songs are songs that they they were the, like the sleepers or even the what they call the the, uh, the album cuts. Yeah. That were not yeah. supposed to be a they single. They didn't even think it's gonna make it. And like. they end up blowing <laughs> up and becoming a really big uh, a really big uh, a classic joint. Um, I gotta ask, what's what's one thing that you wish you would have known when you first got in? Like now with the experience that you got, what's something you wish you would have known when you first got in here that could be used maybe for some up and comers that are just getting in the game now that you feel like do this and do that first don't do this uh you know now that you got the experience you got now what's some stuff you you you, you wish you would have known at the beginning when you first got in the game because the game kind of um, fucky sometimes i gotta just say it does. sometimes it is it does what's some it advice does. you would you would give to somebody that's just now getting in the game that's a, a young nick from the sticks out there young nick from the sticks. Talking to young nick from the sticks what's some advice you give yourself that's crazy i'll be thinking that a lot even when i make songs i'll be like this is for young and nick from the sticks type shit so i think a lot what i would tell young and nick is is to do that network. Cause I did spend a lot of time on my own. I did that to be home my craft, being in my little room and working and doing it. But stepping outside of that and, cause music is a collaborative thing. Oh yeah. It's beautiful when you make it with people, you might think of shit or they might say something that you would never thought of and that might spark this new ideal in you. So yeah. I would say just that building that network and opening up more and you know, pushing your shit. Cause yeah. that's a big part. You gotta be your biggest promoter. And Not definitely, Margaret. and definitely bring your ass to Ace Town. I see you in Ace Town all the time. You know what you're doing out here. Look what we got right here. We got, we got vehicles pulling oh, yeah, up. We got pull slabs pulling up. Slabs. You know what I'm saying? We out here outside of Sakai, and this is the vibe right here in Ace Town. What's the vibe? I ain't even gonna lie. You, you, you know, you know, you're in Ace Town when you pull up in this motherfucker yeah, right here. Cause yeah, you know, better than a fucking day. Shit just popped off live. That's right, man. So, so we gotta get more uh, from Nick from the sticks. So they wanna follow you right now. They wanna check you out where you can check out all your music. You check me out everywhere at Nick from the sticks. That's on all platforms, all streaming, social media. Yeah, I got a lot coming your way. Lock in with me. There it is right there, man. Follow Nick from the stick because he's doing big things. Yes, sir. New virtual right here out now, man. Y'all got to go check, check it, it out. out. The intro, drop it right now. Premiere on Hustle Town Network. Thank you, my boy Chex. We out here. There it is right there, man. Nick from the sticks. We out here, man. Ace Town. We out. Yeah, man.